Okay. <clears throat> Bonjour. Hi everyone, welcome to our French demo class. Today we're going to be learning how to uh, uh, know basic French uh, expressions for the starting, like uh, the salutations. Thank you. The first one we have for salutation is uh, salutation en français. Salutation in French. And basically, it is for beginner. Let's see. Bonjour. 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 And allo and salut is for salut is for salutation. But please don't say salut with this guy. The, this will be silent. Bonjour. Monsieur, bonjour, madame. I, sir, I, ma'am. Or, ben, bonjour is a little bit uh, passepartout. Passepartout. Why? Because it can mean I, it can mean hello, it can mean good morning. That is important to know with the French salutation which is bonjour and then ensuite and then bonjour is good morning good morning as we can say and bonsoir is good evening and also bonsoir is good afternoon it means when we say bonsoir that person means good evening or good afternoon and bon après midi bon après midi is a good afternoon basically it is this one we should use to say good afternoon but we use also bonsoir for saying good afternoon bonsoir is good evening bon après midi is literally good afternoon basically good afternoon because après means after noon midi is noon get it it is why good it is bon après after midi noon good after and noon you got it fine and uh, And after we have the personalities in French. So we can say uh, Monsieur. So we can say Monsieur. So we can say Madame. Get it? Fine. Monsieur and Madame. And Monsieur is a basic, uh, is a Madame is ma'am or Madame. Madame. In English mademoiselle is miss mademoiselle is miss mademoiselle miss plural is a monsieur and madame p got it and we can also recall something more and ma following sir and dame is my you get it And what we can add else is uh, madame, okay, madame, my ma'am, literally in French. Okay, as also, uh, sir, uh, sir is sir, as you can see, it look like, okay, fine, sir and sir and sir, you get it. Mademoiselle is my lady. Ma, ma, demoiselle, demoiselle, demoiselle. 
This E will be silent. I only say the moiselle. Fine. And the plural form is mes demoiselles. Can you see? Mes demoiselles. Très bien. Perfect. Let's go. And demoiselles. Because there is one more, we can say la demoiselle. La demoiselle to say my lady. The lady. The miss. Okay, let's see the miss. One miss. The lady. And uh, exercise. Let's see what we learned. Bonjour. We know bonjour. Bonsoir. We know bonsoir. Salut. We know salut. Salut is for younger people. Mostly we use it only for friends or family uh, members. Okay. How to say goodbye in French? Then, second one. How we do we so do we say goodbye? Let's go. Au revoir. Au revoir is goodbye in French. Au revoir, goodbye. And à bientôt is see you soon. Can you see? And how to say how are you in French? Important. How to say how are you in French? So, in French, we do give importance to the gender. Uh, here, we do give importance to the gender. That makes that we we'll say informal. Uh, how are you? And what which you is used? It is uh, tu. Tu. Can you say tu is you? Informal. Really informal. You say that in the appropriate way. It is really, really uh, not good. Okay. And then we have uh, how. Or the use of to go in French to say, how are you? Instead of saying in French, how are you? We say, how you, how you, how you go? You get it? We say, how you go? To go is used instead of, instead of for uh, uh, to be say to go this is comma this is to go aller it's not aller it is aller 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 to go fine and you go check for that because we need to say you go how do you how how are you we need to say how are you but in french i say how do you go I say I go fine. We say tu vas. Tu vas is the uh, second person singular uh, indicative present form. Second person singular indicative form and informal. Good. And next we have the question. The question also will be divided divided to uh, three parts. We will say more informal and less informal. And then friend. Let's write it friend. Friends. Get it? Okay. All of them are friends, but uh, when we say want to be formal also, with friends we can be. Okay, fine. And then next, we have comma tu va. Comma. Please don't say comment. It's not comment. It is comma. Tu vas. Tu vas. Tu vas. How you go. Literally. But is, it is how are you. Please. In English. And comma vas-tu. It is how are you also. Also, how are you? And then let's uh, let's see something else also. Is comma sava is how it uh, it goes literally in English. In English, it is how it goes. Oh, sorry. How it 
goes. You get it? But it means how are you in uh, normal English. Fine. And we do have uh, some problem here with here the reversion of the subject here and here no. No. Yes. You get it? That makes uh, there's one thing. In French, to make a question, we can remain the question, uh, the sentence in the same form and put intonation. You know, intonation is like a intonation is like a question, the question expression. How are you? How you are? And you understand? How you are? How are you? It is same. When you say, comment you va? Comment tu vas? Is the intonation. Comment tu vas, monsieur? Comment tu vas, madame? Comment tu vas, mon ami? Mon ami, my friend. Now, this question can be reversed to make the question more, more, less informal, not more informal, less informal because we can say, comment vas-tu? To say that we reverse the subject. Comment vas-tu? Is how you go in the reversing form of uh, interrogation. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Okay. For the next uh, part, uh, we have to learn, ça is a pronoun in French. Ça, it means it. You get it? And then it is conjugated with the third person singular. Any verb like it in English also. And here, this it is, uh, sa is called in the grammar, it is called impersonal, uh, impersonal pronoun. Impersonal pronoun. It is impersonal pronoun because when we say sa, we don't know what, it. It is it, no gender. We used to say everything in French will be genderized, but sometimes also we use the pronoun it to make it un, uh, personal things. And va is goes, okay, as you know. And we have answer. How do we answer to those questions? Okay, as you can see here, answer. To answer, we say, I go well, literally, a literal, that I go well. But it is not literally in English. In English, it will be, I'm fine. It is, I am fine. I'm fine. I'm fine, sir. Thank you. And you. That's what we mean here. Okay. And I'm fine. And uh, here next is uh, let this couple of uh, answering to the question how are you in French. We have je vais bien. Je vais bien. Je is I. Ve is go. Bien is well. Or fine. Or good. You got it? And ça va bien. It means directly it goes well, but we cannot say it goes well. We'll say it is fine. It is fine. Okay, let's see that. This is je vais bien is here. And then ça va bien is it goes well or fine or good. We got it fine and uh, what we can add or uh, also is uh, uh, how to say uh, it it is okay this is literally it is okay in French ça va we say immediately to the one saying comment ça va ça va ça va ça va it is it is fine it is 
but literally it is it goes you understand and all these three to say i am fine in french so choose how will you dress addressing to people in french it can be uh, informal and uh, we learn the informal one let's see the formal form and the formal form project is, uh, uh, pronoun to say you is a uh, vous please don't say vous it is a vous this is silent you get it it is vous not vous hope you understand this and uh, uh, vous is the plural form of tu as what we said and aller as we said uh, above is uh, to go and here we can sentence as er is uh, the ending of the first group verbs but uh, this guy is end with er but not first group verb okay so uh, sorry don't boring with the first group verb and we want to say this er is a sound a sound that makes that E R is a sound. This is a sound. This is a sound. This is a sound. It's okay. Now, how, do, how will we say uh, you go for the formal? It is a uh, vous allez, vous and allez. But in French, let's do the linking. Ah, the linking we say vous allez, vous allez, vous allez, vous allez. Ensuite, and then question. Let's do the question. Okay. Let's see the question. Okay. The question is Comment vous allez? Comment vous allez? With the linking, we say, Comment vous allez? We link this S, which is Z sound, plus the A, which is A, it is ZA, and LE. Comment vous allez? Again, Comment vous allez? Comment vous allez, monsieur? Comment vous allez, madame? Comment vous allez, madame? Comment vous allez, mademoiselle? Comment vous allez, monsieur? Very good. And it is less formal because we didn't reverse the subject. Subject no reverse. No reverse. We can say that this question is less formal. To make it more formal, we reverse the subject. It is what about here in French. And we put dash. Get it? For the pronoun. Comment allez-vous? You see the dash. Comment allez-vous, monsieur? Comment allez-vous, madame? Comment allez-vous? Again. Comment allez-vous? Good. And here, answer will be only one answer. We'll only say, je vais bien. Because the other one will be informal. Only this one is for formal. We say, je vais bien, monsieur. Je vais bien, madame. Je vais bien, madame. Je vais bien, madame. Je vais bien, madame. I'm fine, sir. I'm fine. I'm fine, ma'am. I'm fine, uh, miss. Mademoiselle. Good. How to say thank you in French? That thank you. How to say thank you? Merci. Merci. Merci is thank you in French. Merci is thank you in French and now uh, okay now as uh, we see uh, how will you say uh, thank you a lot this is merci merci okay and we do use intonation a lot as French speaker merci merci madame or oh, merci monsieur like we singing like I uh, would say Monsieur, Madame, like we're making a song. Merci. You get it? Can you say that? Merci, Madame, Monsieur. We, we do that. 
intonation sometimes that makes it weird, but it's that we we are okay and uh, we also have a uh, mercy and adding a lot i don't know if english you say that we do also say that merci beaucoup beaucoup and we say beaucoup with a uh, intonation beaucoup to say thank you a lot many times i hear people in english say thousand thanks thousand thanks we can also say that thousand thanks in french we say mille merci we say mille merci à vous monsieur we say mille merci à vous monsieur mille merci à vous look at this one thousand thanks to you sir vous monsieur you can add madame or monsieur it is whatever you understand by communication thank you and we have also a uh, je vous en prie if someone says merci beaucoup what we did say ah for nothing for nothing is a je vous en prie this is expression people want to know the meaning the meaning is uh, in english it is quite a uh, long term but what we can say uh, it doesn't matter or for nothing say merci beaucoup and we say je vous en prie je vous en prie it doesn't matter ah okay or you are welcome you welcome you welcome okay and de rien de rien basically ah uh, de rien means uh, it doesn't matter also de rien de rien monsieur okay okay de rien is de rien de rien de rien de rien de rien is it doesn't matter fine and uh, next we have enchanté 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 means nice to meet you but uh, literally enchanté means i'm pleased in french enchanté 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 monsieur enchanté madame if someone say bonjour and you say enchanté ça va très bien and let's go oh it is a pleasure okay uh, notice in french we have three group of verbs let's talk about the group of verbs in french so we have a group of verbs really uh, easy to understand that the, there are uh, three group of verbs in french so we have uh, verbs ending with er verbs ending with uh, er uh, likes to eat manger and the er is not air sound it is a sound it is a sound you get it and to to leave it is a partir 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 is to leave a motion verb and venir venir is to come venir it is an ir verb it is ir verb remember ir and uh ali it is an a uh, er verb it is a and we do our first group verb which is er second ir but we do have a problem with the ir verbs uh, not second group verb mood verbs like i say i can i must or i want those are mood verb you expressing something your mood and it's not a first group but most of them are ending with ir not a uh, not second group verb but ending with ir now we have like a verb vouloir no sorry pouvoir can vouloir want devoir must falloir have to falloir got it fine and so so we can say that the r o i r verb we synthesize in the third form of the verb or irregular verb we say that there are oir verb so you can understand as a 
uh, beginner of the learning uh, French learner you have to learn them out because they are really important uh, to speak uh, French in the like a first uh, week French learning you can speak French with them okay and then we have uh, re, verb and uh, re verb and irregular verbs re verbs are irregular verbs including some of the ir verb and the er verb only one er verb is not regular which is ali which is to go you know that fine and what else we can add here is appreciation in french appreciation en français it is merci merci beaucoup merci bien merci bien it is thank you well uh, bien we add it but we can say merci only how to say and you in french it is really important here please it is et toi and et vous et toi sound is toi a e a toi a, and you informal please it is not really written like this it is a toi like this but the o i is o a sound o i equal o a sound you get it fine we go we go with <coughs> uh alphabet we have 26 letters also like uh, english how to spell and how to read them it is the most important is to know how to spell the alphabet and how to read them and one one uh, like a win i want to tell, give you like a you are a winner of something if you know english already because uh, the spelling is different but the reading are totally uh, similar in french and in english let's see here uh, the e and here is making the difference on this uh, spelling also so you can get it easily you say e in english but we say a in french you get it a like anita and uh, uh, a can also be taken uh, uh, some uh, 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 accents you say accent a and a you get it and a b b is a b because a we do not say B because the E in, in, in French, it is A. It is why we say B. Or why we'll say B if it was E. In English, it is E. It is why we say B. It is why we have, we can tell you to focus on these two letters in the spelling in, in English and French. The spelling is different because of this, this letter. It is A in French. That makes that the spelling will be A sound, not E sound. If you get it, we don't need to get the time while learning uh, alphabet in uh, uh, French because it is quite similar. And we have B, we have C. C, it is quite similar. The sounding, it is also two different sounding, S and K sound. And uh, we have D. We have A. A in the reading form, it is silent. We call it in French, A muet. A muet is a uh, dead E. It means that it is barely read in French. After we have F like English, we have uh, we have G. And here we can say something. You know this letter and this letter in English they change in French. Like uh, in French we say G and we say G, but in English we say G and we say J, G and we say J. In French, we say J and we say J. You get it? Fine. And here we have J. And J also, like in English, it has uh, how to tell you uh, faster. J has two sounding, like in English. In English, you have G or J. You say, in French we have je or go. 
down. When we'll be getting the A or O or U behind it, it will be if there is a B, it is behind A or U, it is go sound like mango. A mango in French we say man mango. And a cake in French we do not say we say gato. 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 And mango and gato. The mango we eat and the gato. The cake we eat. The mango we eat and the cake we eat is a mango and a gato. Mango. Gato. Good. And the G, uh, if it is uh, behind I, E, Y, it is J. It is the J sound. J. It is the Y we say Je mange. I eat. Je mange. Once again. Je mange. Je mange. Je mange. Like a singing, je mange. Okay, fine. And the word gymnastic. Gymnastic. After we have ash, aspirated or silent. Om. Om here it is silent. Hariko it is a aspirate. And this letter which is E. And also this is a G. G like a J. When we say J in French, it is I. It is J. I. It's okay. And je vais. Like you remember, why saying I'm fine? We say je and we say ve. It's je vais. I am fine. Good. And K and L and M and N and O and P and Q. And Q, what can we say about it? Q is always uh, almost followed by uh, U in French, except with the, the word cinq. Cinq is five in French. See this one, five. Cinq. 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 Fine. And uh, R. R. R is R. R. So, sounding R. And S. And T. And U, U sound, U like a chu, chu. You remember chu is U informal. Okay, and V, V, V and double V and X and Y. Y is a, a Y. 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 Be careful. The reading is E, and it is a E. Y is a longer E. It means that if I say Y here, I used to be learning it as like this. It is double time I together and I is read E in French. That means that it is E. Okay, like a, but there is one more problem with them. We say it is a consonant and or we say it is a vowel. When it is a vowel and when it is a consonant, that will be our problem. The problem is that when it is a consonant and when it is a vowel, Let's see it here. When we see the word yoga, yoga is it is French. We say it is a consonant here because it is used as a consonant. And when we say stylo, it is a pen. We, it is here we use it stylo. We use consonant plus it. It means that it is a vowel. Okay. And Z, Z is a sound as you know. And also one more thing we can add is the double S. And one s the sounding are totally different guys the sounding are totally different guys and see it see them like this if you see um what you can see uh double s is so uh, sound so sound but one s is the sound it's what we can add and next some word one word is puissance when we, puissance puissance is a word when we sound it it is strong puissance because we mean power and we have chemise 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 is a shirt chemise you can see here it is the sound and here it is the sound good comment and here 
when a word is ending by s what we can add also when the word when a word is ending by s and we want to take it to link for linking sorry let me say for linking for linking words together oh sorry for linking words it is the uh, sound also you get it it is why here we say vous allez you say the the plus a za it is comment vous allez it is how are you and then it is the reading form we want to see the reading form we want to see here it is to say uh okay it is uh, the uh, sound and after we have vowels we have five vowels like english and uh, uh, like uh, plus one more see and that one more plus it is a y it's not really a vowel we said it is half part vowel is half part consonant and how to read them let's recall the reading form of it it is a a a o o u u u a a E, 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 and here y is e. It is same but longer. Can you understand? It is e. This is e. This is e. Good. And this word stilo. And then p p sin swimming pool p sin p sin. It is short and long. Fine. Okay, uh, guys. Uh, let's go for further. Okay, uh, further we have. Uh, uh, we have. Uh, stilo. Okay, semi vowel. Also, we can learn. It helps in the reading form in the reading process. How to read properly in French is here all to how to read properly in French is based on these okay here we say uh, we say semi vowel but they have a different kind of sounding it means that when we take the vowels combining together give another sound vowels combine combined together together gives give another sound another sound another another sound you get it that makes be careful let's see somehow what i will be combining them and i will be by the way reading them okay fine uh here we have this is a o a u is o sound e a u o sound like a bato which is boat and o y and o i is oa sound like voitu voitu again voitu good and one more we i can add here o i o y is not only o i it is o and double i it means that we say oa with this one like this one and we still have another i and that makes people confused in one word as we have been uh, teaching uh, French for uh, some a couple of time. You can understand people like uh, this word to travel. It is voyage. This word literally it is voix. It is you say the sound is voix, ia, and j. It means that it is a three syllable. It is. Uh, Voa, which is one, ia, ia. We say ia. Can say one again. Ia, ia, and we say j, ia, j. Voa, ia, j. Say, okay. Sorry, not voyager, but voyage, j, j. Okay, fine. And it is why people mistaken with the uh, voya, which they say voya. It's not voya, it is voa because there is in oa, 
in y there is double time i we take the one with sound with the o we get o r and we take the one we join to the r it is ear ear this is okay it is two double two sound together e r e r g voa e r g get it fine uh, some couple of things so people mistaken even if learning finishing French they have a problem still on that and next we have a uh, sound ah uh, nasal sound we have three couple of nasal sound in French three three nasal sound nasal nasal sounds and let's resume them uh, phonetically let's see it is a oh uh, when you say oh ah ah eh, then it gives oh ah eh, oh ah eh. and these vowel sound have been teaching by us to that way in that way it is understand we say constantin we say there is one word one name constantin there is oh ah eh sound in the word in the name constantin okay it's a nasal sound constantin then we may need to speak with the nose not with the uh, vo vocal okay fine and uh, next time uh, we have next uh, is uh, a sound first a a a a and example ta important important ta. and next also we have to tell you in the reading process in french is consonant at the end of the words are not read consonants ending not read then it means that you don't read them even there is two like time many people say thumbs it is not thumbs it is time not thumbs fine Okay, and then uh, here, as you can see here, it is a ta, ta, not tant. Important is not important. It's important because the T e, e, will be silent. Okay, uh, okay, fine. Okay, uh, and what we can move uh, for? It is a, the sound a. We have a, 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 a like a n which is one like a uh, one or in in french one or in in french and pain which is bread pain can you say pain p a i n is n sound pain sound fine and on like a the, in the uh, word constantin we get all the sound here sorry we get all the sound here got it Okay, fine. And constantin. Fine. And uh, here we have a, 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 fine. And uh, next, like a on, like this word also is important. On is a we in French. And we use it a lot while talking. Like uh, as a native speaker, we use it more than we together. We say on mange. On travail, on, on s'exerce, on, uh, on joue, on arrive, on arrive. And on is we, but we call it impersonal we, because when you use, we don't know which, who is the part of that group, impersonal. It is impersonal. It is not personal. Like you said, that personal pronoun, nah? With, this is not personal pronoun. It is a, an impersonal it is impersonal okay it is what we can do and then we have the sound a a a a here uh, as expression we can tell you and let you understand those one is uh, uh, let me make example so you can understand deeply a here like a parley parley is spoke uh, spoken or uh, spoke speak so, okay spoken okay fine sorry and here we have a like parler which is the verb parler to speak in the infinite form infinite infinite form 
infinitive form of the first group verb. Okay, infinite form. Okay, he are verb. And here it is a. This a means end in French. A end. And e r. And what what is magic with this e r? You have to learn it. And it is really really important to know that because all the verb and conjugated with uh, uh, vu. Okay, will be ending with e r. All verbs conjugated with vu. It means that conjugating verb with a uh, u. Uh, plural or you formal it will be ending with er vous parlez it's you speak you speak you all or you formal singular or you formal plural or you formal singular as you understand okay fine and uh, here we have uh, and uh, uh, er ending verb and first group verb and uh, okay a is silent in French. Please don't read it. When we see any verb, I will say, but the problem with A, you have to know quickly, is that when it is placed behind a vowel, a, a consonant, it makes that consonant be read. It makes that consonant be, be read, but in itself will not be read. What we can briefly tell you about that. And also, uh, semi-consonant. Okay. okay, and then semi-consonant not kind of semi-consonant it's a uh, uh, sum of com combination of uh, two consonants together like you say the p plus l it is pl, like in english b plus l it is bl and g plus r it is gr and then grow like when you say to grow it's a gr it is like same in english and french and also v plus r it is vr and wo plus ro it is r, like wrong in uh, English. And uh, comma sava, let's recall what we learned. Comma sava is how are you? Comma vatu is how are you? And uh, bravo, well done. Bravo, 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 bravo is a really, really European uh, expression because we use it also in English. Bravo is English. Basically from... Uh, uh, Italian and uh, uh, Latin language. Okay, fine. And uh, au revoir. Merci beaucoup. A bientôt. Merci. Thank you so much. Goodbye. See you soon. Bye. Merci.